Hello everyone. Welcome to the Trendline Investor channel. So in today's video, we're going to look at two stocks which are looking fantastic, um, you know, from a long-term investment perspective, even from a short-term trading perspective. Uh, we're going to look at those two stocks in this video. And also I'm going to show you a short outlook on what Nifty is doing. So we had a very strong bearish close on Friday, but what does it mean from a short-term trading perspective or what does it mean for the overall markets? So let's take a look at these and uh, let's jump into this today's video and start with Nifty. Okay, so here you can see the Nifty chart uh, that I have already here and we spoke about this trend line, you know, multiple times in the last few weeks. And here, if you see, we had this breakout, a nice breakout, uh, unexpected markets to head towards 18,000, which was its previous swing high. And we did head there, but on the Friday, we had a massive red candle and we almost had selling and which brought the markets down. Now, that's the first strength candle we are seeing in almost two to three weeks. And uh, strength by strength candle, I mean a big red candle, uh, which shows there was intense selling on Friday. And especially it's a, given that it's a weekly close, that was definitely a bearish sign. Um, for the week uh, that we had passed by, right? So for me, overall, yes, on a very short term basis, uh, we have definitely gone from an uptrend to a, you know, a, a downtrend. Now that's more on the 15 minute chart, chart, early chart. But overall for me, I feel this Friday test, um, if we go below the Friday's low, and if we go below this trend line resistance, then definitely that's not good. We may probably head towards, you know, lower and head towards 70,200 or 70,000 levels in the next uh, couple of weeks. But if we do not go below that Friday's low, then what I'm thinking is we might head again higher, you know, test again that high of Friday's high or the last three days high. And then we kind of go on a sideways correction, you know, and we kind of head towards, uh, do a time correction and head towards 70,600 levels. Uh, but this might be a very slow grind. Uh, so we might be trading between 70,600 to 18,000 levels probably for a week or so. And that's my first case, right? So that's how, that's my first case uh, considering that's a retest. Now, the second case is if we break below that trend line there, then we're probably going to do a more steep correction and we're going towards the channel support. But this, remember, this is a primary trend line for me. And given that this price was multiple times from this channel, middle of channel, for me, this looks like a perfect channel, uh, given that it's almost around that gap down zone over there. So if we kind of uh, break down below this trend line resistance here, then I'm looking forward to, you know, testing that zone over there, which is around 70,200 levels. And we might take support on the primary trend line before we head again higher. Now, remember, this is we've not tested this yet, um, almost since July. So if we test that, I don't think we're going to break down immediately and head down, right? So it's going to take support there, or at least around this level, we're going to take support, and we're probably going to consolidate some time, and then we're going to head higher again. So that's the next uh, case that I have. So that channel for me is the most important channel to look forward to in the coming weeks. And if we are going to hold that channel, then definitely we're going to again start a major uptrend. And probably we might even rally much further higher and hit all time highs also probably in the next few months or so. Okay, so that's my nifty outlook. Do let me know what you think, um, you know, in a short term or even from a long term perspective in the comment section, and I'll be happy to answer uh, or respond to your views. Okay, so that's my nifty outlook. Now, before we get into the stocks, uh, you know, back uh, in April, um, I think somewhere in the first week of April is when I spoke about different stocks for the very first time, right? I did give my views as to why BDL and HAL would go up, give you very good gains, and I also spoke about that. I also told you why India as a country is now you know, starting to look towards more uh, defense expenditure, and the government is actually spending a lot, and we are seeing that in the results of these companies. Uh, these stocks are already up 50%, uh, and if you haven't uh, yet invested, do take a look at this video that I had posted some time back, and let me know your thoughts. So on the same lines, we're going to look at today a very interesting stock from the different space. It has some of the major uh, revenues or most of the revenue comes from the different space. Okay, so let's take a look at this stock. First stock we're going to take a look at today is Astra Microwave Products Limited. Now this stock uh, is in the business of development and manufacture of radio frequency and microwave components, subsystems and systems used in defense, space, meteorology and telecommunication, right? Now, majority of the share, if you see, uh, I've given you the segmental segment revenue breakup from the recent uh, presentation that the company has posted. And if you see, we've gone up from 45% to almost 57% now. So 57% of the revenues are coming from the defense um, space or from the government expenditure that we're having in the defense area. Right now, that's a very strong sign because this company is also exports, but the export business doesn't do um, very well in terms of margins, whereas the domestic business does very well in terms of margins. So for me, overall, I think there is a nice strategy change in the company's focus. And I think they're focusing on this segment where they're actually more profitable. Okay, also if you look at the order book, they have order book of 
1600 crores as of June 30, 2022, and which is expected to be executed in the next uh, one or two years. Right now, if you look at the overall revenue itself for uh, the recent year of financial 2022, we had a 7,000, 7, sorry, 735 crores in revenue. Right now, the order book is almost two and a half times the financial 22 revenue. So, which means we are expecting the company to do very well in the next couple of years. And that's probably why I'm talking about this stock today. Um, and also, if you look at the orders uh, booked in this past quarter in June 2022, we had almost 250 crore profit, uh, you know, order book, orders booked in the last quarter if you say let's say they continue on the same level in the next uh three or four quarters we are also going to see another thousand crores in order book in the next year or so so overall for me the order book is very very healthy and given that the company is focusing more on the domestic business uh, which is coming from the defense um, area so i think this company is definitely going to do well so if you also compare the revenue we've gone up 34 percent um, compared to the last q1 uh 34 percent increase in revenue 18 percent increase in EBITDA. And overall, the PAT has increased by 18%, right? So for me, these are excellent numbers from a fundamental perspective. And historically, the order book has seen a very significant rise. Now, this is what I say that the government, uh, the Indian government has been spending a lot on expenditure on defense. And you can see that reflecting in the order book of these companies, these defense companies, right? That's why I did cover them back in April. So also, the order book is very diversified. So as of today, we have 48% coming from the defense sector. Uh, then you have a major 13% coming from the space or meteorological uh, area. And 35% is exported. Right. Um, again, looking at the overall numbers, we are seeing a very strong growth in all uh, areas, top line, bottom line, operating margins, everything is increasing and reserves are at all time high. So for me, from a fundamental perspective, this is an excellent company. Um, and let's take a look at the technicals now. Um, technicals, this stock, both the stocks I'm talking talk about today have given a 15 plus year breakout, which means the last 15 years, the stock has not done nothing, right? It basically given zero returns. And today we're looking at a very strong, um, you know, rise in price, price at all time high, and we're looking at uh, much higher targets from these levels. So technicals for Astro Microwave, I'm looking at the monthly chart as always. If you're with me, you know that. And if you see, we had this major resistance over here, and we kind of had a breakout sometime back uh, in 2021, 2022, and we had a very strong nine month consolidation. Now, in the case of Astro Microwave, there's a 17 year consolidation breakout, right? Now, that's massive, and even the volumes are huge, right? So now all this shows that the market knew the defense expenditure is going to you know benefit these companies and now after a very strong nine month consolidation here we are seeing a breakout this week now this month we already uh, have you know probably a week or so left and if you kind of stay above that zone over there then definitely this is an amazing breakout strength cci is good rate of strength is good everything is looking technically excellent from a very long term trend perspective so if you're an investor hold this trailer stop loss you might get a very good return on the stock in the next three to five years so focusing on the short term charts to give you a very uh, you know proper entry point and a proper stop loss. So always it's important to look at multi time frames. Um, I also do a video on that. But here I'm looking at daily chart and if you look at the daily chart, this is the nine months that I saw that I showed in the monthly chart. Right. So and we've had a massive resistance over here. It came multiple times, almost thrice. And now we are breaking out. We broke out on Friday, uh, which is also weekly close. We had an excellent breakout with amazing volumes. And now this is a perfect rectangle consolidation breakout. And for me, this is a very low risk entry, right? Because the stop loss for us is going to be here. We're going to enter current market price which is around 309. We're going to keep a stop loss at around 255, which is around 18%, right? Now, remember these stocks have been pretty volatile, the different stocks, because they are either from the mid cap or small cap space. And uh, here uh, with the stop loss 255, I'm looking for a target of 460 first. And then I'm looking for a target of 750, which is almost, uh, you know, more than um, two and a half X from here, right? So. As always, go with the position of position size of 5%. And once you have good profits, you can add more to the stock. But I'm looking for a target of with a 420, I'm looking for a risk to reward ratio of 2.75. And with target of 750, I'm looking for a reward of eight times the risk that you're taking. Okay, so write the trend for maximum gains and do let me know if you're going to invest in the stock. Okay, so that's the first stock I want to discuss today. The second stock is also from the manufacturing space, and it's a very well-known company in India, and it is Thermax Limited. Right now, Thermax Limited has not done again very well uh, in terms of price movement for the last 15 years, but awfully the stock has been getting traction. Let's look at look, take a look at the fundamental reasons first. Okay, so in terms of fundamentals, again, the order book has been excellent for this company. It has grown 36%, um, you know, and there's still an order balance pending of, you know, 9,500 crores. Uh, revenue is also up 57%, PBD is up 45%, PAD is up 40%, and cash and equivalents or reserves are also up 8%. So overall, the order booking is pretty good. And it's coming from, you know, uh, very diverse sectors, right? It's coming from refinery, steel, power, chemical segments, 
um, and also we are seeing an uptrend uh, in the inquiry inflows, right? So which means a lot of companies are inquiring about their products and the company um, is seeing demand from sugar, distilleries, paper and pulp industries. Remember these industries are doing very well. If you have noticed the paper or sugar industries, the results have been fantastic and that's why uh, probably there's a huge demand in those industries and which is reflecting in the Pemmax uh, order book as well, right? So this company also has a very diverse, uh, you know, uh, revenue coming from diverse industries so starting with refinery metals and sugar so again it's a very safe bet because even if one of the industry doesn't well do well some of the industries might do well and they might you know rake in good amount of revenues or good amount of profits so just taking a look at the historical uh you know yearly trends or yearly revenue and yearly profits the company after so many years you know almost i'm looking here since 2011 we had 5200 crores revenue and again after so many years we've made a new all-time high right in revenues after 10 years we are seeing a, some structural changes probably in this industry and we are seeing a new all-time high in terms of revenue but the pat has not still hit an all-time high right the pat was all-time high was 404 crores and now we are close to around 330 crores so probably once the efficiencies kick in then we might see a good jump in also the uh, you know overall profits driven by a strong operational efficiency right so this this also might do uh, pretty well in term in the coming years once they are able to achieve you know a very good order book very good revenue then it might also show start showing up in the operating margins and the net profits but for me the interesting thing today is to look at the fis and the di is uh, shareholding so fis have been holding around eight and a half percent stake in 2019 but offered they are holding around 12 to 12 and a half percent uh, stake in the company they have increased the share uh, so increased the stake stake in the company also di's have kind of you know uh, holding around 16 percent they were holding around 13 percent back in september but again, increase and they're holding around 15.7% stake in the company right now. Public holds a very meager 4.8% share, which means probably the float which is available might not be very high because of its share price is probably heading higher now, right? So that's from a fundamental perspective of Thermex. Um, also, ABB Siemens, a lot of these companies are looking good, uh, but this company has still not moved the way ABB or Siemens have done. So that's why I'm covering this stock today. Um, like taking, a look, taking a look at the technicals, if you see, I spoke about the 15 year consolidation breakout. Um, here, if you see, we have a very strong bullish candle that happened, uh, you know, somewhere in 2022 and we had a massive breakout there followed by amazing volumes coming in. And if you look at this trend line here, the stock has kind of retested the primary trend line. And now we had a very strong nine months or, you know, uh, almost eight, 10 months consolidation here. And we are now again heading higher uh, with a slight increase in volume. We still have 10 days left. So the volumes are pretty good from my perspective. So overall, uh, that's the reason why I'm recommending because of this massive, massive breakout, 15 year breakout in uh, Thermax. Okay, giving a short term view of what actually we're looking at the very short term. This is the trend line which I showed you in the monthly charts. But here, if you take a clear look, it is a beautiful long term channel that we're looking at here. Right, Since now 2021, we had this time correction here after this massive volume pickup. And now we are seeing a massive move, you know, continuation. So these are continuation breakouts. So this was the first continuation breakout here. Uh, followed by a continuation breakout that we're going to see um, shortly. Now, remember I posted two weeks back on Twitter itself when we were around that zone saying this is a very low risk setup. So it's still not moved much. So it's a very good entry point right now with amazing increase in volume, right? So that's why I'm discussing the stock, stock today. So you can buy it at current market price. We're trading around 2260 levels. So you can buy it at 2260 or 2270 levels. With a stop loss of 1980, which is around a 12 and a half percent stop. I'm looking for targets towards 3300, um, you know, which is almost 3.6 times the risk uh, stop loss that we have, or a target of even 5000 in the next three to five years, right? Which is almost 10 times the risk that we're taking um, here. Okay, so that's uh, from a technical perspective. So these are two stocks I want to discuss today. Um, if you did like both stocks, do let me know in the comment section. Also, uh, look at the past videos. There have been many stocks. And if you really want to learn, look at those videos and see how I find stocks. It might help you really learn, uh, you know, and uh, improve your knowledge. So before leaving you, do subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And trade safe, take care. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.